How to find a square root and a cubed root of a number. In this video, we are going to look at finding cubed root and square root of a number without using a calculator. This video is made by MediaWorks, South Africa's foremost provider of adult education. Visit www.mediaworks.co.za for more information on our computer-assisted and face-to-face -face learning programs. So to find the square root of 2025, we are going to look at the smallest factor that goes into 2025 without leaving a remainder. A factor that is not 1. So in this case, we are going to use 3. So 3 into 20, it goes in 6 times, remainder 2. 3 into 22, it goes in 7 times, remainder 1. 3 into 15, it goes in 5 times. Still 3 can go into 6, 7, 5. 3 into 6 goes 2 times. 3 into 7 goes 2 times, remainder 1. 3 into 15, it goes 5 times. We are still going to use 3 as a factor. 3 into 22 goes 7 times. 3 into 15, it goes 5 times. Still 3 can go into 75. 3 into 75 goes in 2 times, remainder 1. 3 into 15, it goes 5 times. In this case, 3 cannot go into 25. But the next smallest factor is 5. So we are going to use 5. 5 into 25, it goes 5 times. 5 also goes into 5. So 5 into 5, we get 1. Since we are looking for the square root, we are going to use every second factor that we have. In this case, we are going to take this 3 as the second factor, that 3 as the other factor, and the 5. So 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 3 times 3 is 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. So 45 is the square root of 2025. This can be proved by multiplying 45 by 45. Note that this method only works when you are dealing with whole rational numbers. If you are going to use it on irrational numbers, it is going to be a little bit more complicated. To find the cube root of a number, we use exactly the same method, but in this case, we are going to use only the third factor. Right. The cube root of 216. We look for a number that goes into 216 without leaving a remainder. In this case, we have 2. 2 into 2, it goes once. 2 into 1, 0. 2 into 16, it goes eight times. Two can go into 108. Two into 10 it goes five times. Two into eight, it goes four times. We can still use two. Two into five, it goes two times, remainder one. Two into 14, it goes seven times. In this case, we have 27. So we are supposed to use three. Three into 27, it goes nine times. Then 3 into 9 goes in 3 times, and 3 into 3 goes in once. Since we are looking for a cube root, we must choose the third factor. So in this case, we are taking 2, and then we take 3, which means 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. So 6 is our cube root. We can prove this by multiplying 6 three times to find our answer, which is going to be 216.